One of the most annoying things as a developer is when you get merge conflicts. How to resolve them in this video. If you're a programmer, especially if you work in a team, you will come across merge conflicts. In this video, we will talk about how it occurs and how you can resolve them. So here we have a little project with two JavaScript files and we will only change the index.js. So unchanged.js will stay the same. So you can see in the following video, the merge conflicts will only happen on the files where we do changes. So in the index.js. So merge conflict happens if your Git head is out of sync. So now we will simulate that. So we will go here to add a new branch, which we will call develop. And we will push that to GitHub. By the way, all the changes I do with the graphical user interface here on VS Code can also be done on the terminal. But we will stick to doing the Git commands with VS Code. So now we have a branch master with change equals to master one. And we also have now this current develop branch with the change master one. So what we can do is introduce a change, commit the changes and push to GitHub. So now we have two branches here. This is the master branch with master one. And then also we have the develop branch here, which has develop one. So what we would do normally now is merge develop into master and everything would work. But let's simulate a merge conflict. So if you go back here to our project and check out to master, so we're now on the master branch, we can introduce a change here again, commit the change and push to GitHub. And now our Git head is out of sync because Git doesn't know what the actual most recent change is, if it's master two or if you go to develop, if it's develop one. So we need to tell GitHub which of those it is. So what we can do is we can now try to merge develop into master. We can do that in two ways, either through GitHub, but first we will do it here on VS Code. So if you go here to source control, merge branch, master, you see there are merge conflicts, resolve them before committing. So now we have to tell Git which of those we want. So we have current changes and incoming changes. So in our change, we want the incoming change to be the correct change. So we can either delete that here or with VS Code, we can accept incoming change. So only this stays. We can save the file, commit the file, and now we merge branch master into develop. We commit that and we push the changes to the develop branch on GitHub. And now we can repeat the step. We go to merge branch into master. So we're still on develop. We merge it into master and now it worked. So now our develop branch has master two and also our master branch has master two. But most probably in a professional environment, you will not merge here on VS Code. You will merge on GitHub itself. Let me introduce that merge conflict again and we will see how to resolve it in GitHub. So now here on GitHub, what we usually do is we create a pull request. And if you have a merge conflict, you can see this message can't automatically merge, but we can still create the pull request. And now down here, it will say this branch has conflicts that must be resolved. You can resolve conflicts directly here on Git, but here you have to be careful. Now, this is of course a very simple example. So you could do that and save the changes. But if it's a more complex project, you shouldn't do it here. Instead, you should go back and you can click here on command line instructions. And what I usually do, I copy a completely new repository, go to VS Code, clone the repository, And now we get these very handy instructions. We can just copy, open up the terminal and we can paste them in here and run them. So you can see it says merge conflict in index.js. So if you go here to our source control, we can see the same thing as we have seen before. Let's now accept the current changes. So the changes of the development branch, save that, commit that and merge master into develop the same thing as we have done before. So now because we want to commit the changes we have done in the develop branch, there are no changes to commit. So this is this error message. There are no changes to commit. So we can create an empty commit. 
which will sync the git head even though there are no real changes that we have committed so we can push them again to github and now if you go back to github and refresh the page we can see we have no conflicts anymore because we merged the branch master into develop so we can now confirm the merge and we have successfully resolved the merge conflicts in two ways first way we did was with vs code and now here directly on github so that was already it for this video don't forget if you want to see more videos like that to subscribe and if that video helped you please leave it a like see you in the next video